This morning, the churches showed up at the Belize House in Belmopan for a scheduled meeting with Governor General Froela Salam. They had been claiming for several days to have the public support required to trigger a referendum. And finally, they handed over several boxes stuffed with signatures from petitioners who want a national referendum on the legalization of marijuana in Belize. In real time, religious leaders united across denominational divides are attempting to test one of the country's democratic processes on a divisive topic. We decided to present these petitions because we think that it is a backward and retrograde step being undertaken in the name of new growth industry. We have today presented close to 21,108 petitions, signed petitions to the Governor General of Belize. These signatures are all true and real. The signatures represent the voice of the Belizean public. It includes a former prime minister, it includes bankers, CEOs of different companies across the length and breadth of this nation. It represents people from every walk of life, Rastafarians and community leaders. The Governor General, and this is where I have come to respect the Governor General even more. And I say that with all humility. While she spoke also in a direct way to the petition and the referendum, she accepted the fact that we operate in an open democracy. And it is for her office to receive these petitions. And she assured us, she assured us that certainly this will be going on. Her office will take it to the next level. The churches say that they have done the necessary research to ensure that the petition represents 10% of the registered voters. We have done every scrutiny, and, and, and I want to look in the camera and say this. We have done our scrutiny. We have had enough people vetting the petitions, cross-vetting the positions, and so as far as we are concerned, having all those processes in place, we can be sure without a shadow of a doubt that those petitions can cross any border. We ensured that we surpassed the 10% threshold That's with correct. validated yes. signatures. You see? So even if a person did not submit their voter ID card, but they said, I, I voted or I forgot to vote, they their petition was submitted and our responsibility was to ensure that we provided more than enough of the 10% trigger of validated. But every single signature is authentic and comes from a Belizean. In anticipation of technicalities, they brought a few hundred extra signatures to substitute for any candidate the elections officials choose to disqualify. They add that they would be surprised and disappointed to hear that the petition did not pass the scrutiny of the Elections and Boundaries Department. I would be very disappointed. And uh, I would be very disappointed because, as I said, we have done our homework. We can be sure as a church that we have done our part. The churches continue to insist that their objective in this push is not necessarily to campaign for a no vote. They don't think it's good for marijuana products to become as accepted and normal as a bottle of rum, or a pack of cigarettes at a corner store. They're willing, however, to live with the choice that Belizeans decide in a referendum. The church can't claim that those are 21,000 or 20,000 no votes. Those are Belizeans who believe in democracy who are saying, let's have a referendum. You may have no votes in there, but you can't claim all 20,000 as no voters. The church will respect whatever the result is. The church has never been afraid of bringing forward the referendum. Put it to the referendum and the church will respect the will of the people. So we're not afraid as to whether it's a yea vote or it's a nay vote. We have never said that. What we have been consistent with is put it to the referendum. And the process of our democracy is 
well, if you're shying away of putting it to the referendum, <laughs> we will force you to put it to the referendum. And so the existence of these petitions, because in a sense, it seemed to be we have to be forcing the hand of the government. Reporting for 7 News, Daniel Ortiz.